Hello and Assalamu alaikum my dear YouTube family. Hope you all are doing really well. Foodies, get ready to embark on a delectable journey as we dive into the world of traditional Indian bread, shirmal, or you can say it's sweet flat bread, as it's originated in the Mughal era and was traditionally prepared in tandoor. But today I'm sharing two ways to make shirmal. One is with oven and the other is without oven. So without wasting further time, let's get started. First, I add two and a half cup of all-purpose flour in a bowl. Now I'm adding one and a half teaspoon of salt, one cup of condensed milk, half cup of milk. One and a half teaspoon of kevra essence or you can use rose water as an alternative. Now we'll mix all the ingredients all together and we'll knead them into a soft dough. Now we'll add half cup of ghee or clarified butter and we'll knead the dough again until ghee or clarified butter disappears in the dough. Now our soft dough for shemal is ready. We'll give it a rest for two hours. Here I've taken out the dough and dividing the dough into two small dough balls. Each dough ball is approximately 200 grams. Now we'll roll our dough. The minimum thickness of the shear mass should be 1 cm. Now before placing the shear mass onto the pan, we'll grease the pan properly. I've also sprinkled some dry flour over the pan. Now I am poking the holes into our shima so that it won't get rice. It will also give the signature appearance of shima. Now to prepare shima in the oven, I am placing it into the preheated oven. We will bake our shima at 180 degrees Celsius for 15 to 20 minutes. For second method, I am putting the shima onto the pan. We'll cover the lid and let the shirmal cook on low medium flame for 6 to 7 minutes. Now after 6 to 7 minutes, I'm flipping the shirmal and let it cook from the other side as well. We'll let it cook from other side from 4 to 5 minutes. Right after taking out of the oven, I'm dipping the shirmal into the lukewarm water for 4 to 5 minutes extremely important step and this is the only way to keep our shirmal soft. Now we will take out the shirmal and strain the excess water. The last step is to apply clarified butter or ghee over the shirmal. This will give our shirmal its signature shiny look. And here's our sweet, soft, and melted mouth shirmals are ready. Mostly people love to have shirmal with korma and nihari, but for me, it's my big guilty pleasure for breakfast. So, if you like my recipe of shirmal, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Faryal's Cuisine. Until then, it's me, Faryal, signing off. Lots of love and prayers for you all. Allah Hafiz, and bye.